joke and it sounds pretty shit as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. The, the start of the line is always the same. Da, do, do, da, da. In this part, Simon's actually got the balls of this part and we just kind of tie it around him. You know, oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what an analogy! <laughs> Our bass player Barry Hill has come down from up north. He can only be with us for four days before he flies off to the desert. So we've got four days to come up with an album. Um, and due to many things, mainly money, we're here in my house, in my space, which is being converted into a, sp a studio entitled Spaghetti Lands at the moment, because <laughs> of all the leads. And so yeah, so we're hoping to um, just spend the next four days writing in the studio, but also also just trying to capture what we've been doing in the last four years together on and off um, on stage and capturing capturing the bird the essence of the bird that's what we've been trying to capture here is the, the essence of what we do live live playing lot of different recording experiences in my life and I've found the ones that happen in spaces like this which are just really chaotic and crazy and sort of hard to get around puts everyone in a bit of a zone where they're a little bit tense and a little bit stressed out but at the same time because there's not that separation between the studio and the artist and the musician and the producer and the engineer there's there's a lot of space for sort of creative interaction that I think that doesn't happen in the studio sometimes. just focus on jamming and trying different ideas out and pushing the boundaries of what we're doing a little bit. This is, this is definitely a, a factor in terms of keeping this recording session happening and moving. I know, it's just, first the grinding starts and the music will happen in that order and not any other order. <laughs> Uh, uh. Whoa. 
Oh, 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 and that happened last night and Ben was trying to get the taxi and you just lost it. I've, I've never seen you lose it like that. He was like, fucking thing, fucking wardrobe, what the fuck's going on here? Look, this is all fucking shit. Oh. What's worse is the dirty pile and the clean pile just became one. I'm like, no, there were certain things that were clean. Yeah. Check him out.